So at this point, our DPDK drivers uh, should be compiled <coughs> and installed. And so let's move on to the next phase of setup. So now we need to go to our T-Rex core uh, directory and then to the scripts directory. Now we need to run a DPDK setup ports uh, script. It's a script that will help us set up our T-Rex ports and how we're going to use them. So uh, DPDK setup ports.py and we're going to do dash i to run it in interactive mode. Oh, misspelled the password there. Let's try that again. All right, so. By default, we're using the IP-based configuration file. Do you want to use Mac-based config? Now, we're not going to use the Mac-based config. The T-Rex is going to work like a router, like we talked about earlier. Um, if you do build it bare metal, so for example, if you had a UCS box and you uh, put Linux on it and installed T-Rex right on top of it, you could use a Mac-based config where you bridge into the network. And so your hosts don't need a separate um, IP address or uh, kind of an emulated subnet, you could just use them as if they were hosts right on the, the VLAN. Uh, we're gonna do it, like I said, as a, an IP-based configuration file, so we'll say no to this. Now here, we get a map of our interfaces and then how we're gonna use them. Now you can see here, um, as we talked about earlier, ENS3 is our management interface, so we're not gonna use that for T-Rex. Um, they want a port pair. They want us to set up a port pair. And uh, so, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, ENS4 and 5 are a port pair, and ENS6 and 7 are a port pair. And you can only set up uh, one port pair at a time, so we'll go ahead and do that now. We'll do ENS4, ENS5, which is ID1 and 2. All right, so this is where we're going to use our IP addressing. Um, so for interface one, and interface one again is ENS4, that is our interface connected to branch one client. So we're gonna change the IP addressing to match our network. We're gonna say that the interface is going to be 10.10.10.65. That's the uh, client VLAN interface we're allocating to the T-Rex. Our default gateway will be 10.10.10.1. And that's the VLAN interface on branch one switch. And then on the other side, we're saying for our servers, what are we gonna do? So we're gonna change this also. And we're going to use, um, let's see, what was it? 10.1.10. Uh, give me just a moment to kind of level set, check myself here. Um, let's see. Uh, do, do, do. Where is my? Apology. Here we go. All right, so 10.1.10 was the regular server subnet. So our IP address should be 10.1.10.65 on the other side of that port pair. 10.1.10.65. And our default gateway would be 10.1.10.1, which is the uh, gateway uh, on DC core, that VLAN interface. We look at the preview of the generated config and it's going to look like this. We're going to save the config and uh, the default file name is it puts it in Etsy and it calls it uh, trxconfig.yaml. We're actually going to call it uh, br12dc.yaml and it's saved there. Uh, at this point we can also set up our second one so let's do that. We'll rerun this and we'll again say no. This time we'll do ENS 6 and 7, so ID 3 and 4. And we're going to set this up as well. We're going to change this. So uh, ENS 6 is our client in branch 2, so our interface should be 10.20.10.65. Uh, 10.10 is branch 1, 10.20 is branch 2. And the gateway will be 10.20.10.1, which is the branch two switch. And now on the other side, we're going to set up the servers. We're going to say, uh, and I believe it's 10.1.10.20. Uh, check that real quick, just to 
verify 10.1.20 rather 10.1.20 is the interface we're using on the PC side so 10.1.20.65 and the gateway will be 10.1.20.1 okay look at the preview of the generated config there it is we're going to save the config and rather than calling it T-Rex config, we will call it VR2 to dc.yaml. All right, now if we look here, we've saved these locally. You can see uh, VR1 to dc.yaml and VR2 to dc.yaml. These config files are for the T-Rex's actual interfaces. This isn't uh, the part where we set up the emulated clients that will come in the next step. But we do need to make small changes to our YAML files. So let's do that now. And we'll need to make the same change to both YAML files, actually. So I know that some Linux purists are going to yell at me about using nano instead of vim or even vi. Um, but first of all, vim actually isn't pre-installed uh, pre on the Ubuntu desktop. Nano is, and again, I'm building this mostly for people um, who are not super familiar with Linux, so Nano will be useful for those people. All right, so here's the config file. Um, we are going to make a couple changes here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to comment this out, and in the YAML you comment with a, um, a hash or a... Uh, so we will replace it. instead with our own uh, interfaces. So we'll say ENS4, comma, ENS5. And these are the Linux names for our interfaces. So you can see that, again, we grabbed our port pair, VR1 client, and VR1 server. And there's one more thing we need to do, and that is to add something called uh, low end. So this is in the T-Rex documentation. It's kind of hard to find. But basically, if, unless we're doing some kind of bare metal uh, UCS type of thing, like I was mentioning earlier with the Mac base config, um, there's not really reason to push out, say, 10 gigs of, of traffic or try to do that. So by saying low end, we're telling T-Rex that it can, <clears throat> that resources are an issue. We don't want to uh, kill the network, um, and you know we can kind of run it with lowered resources. We're more interested in the traffic itself than how fast or scaling it up. <coughs> so let's look, just glance at the rest of the config. You can see where, again, here's our port pair, uh, branch one port pair, or branch one port, and our server port. And that's just saying the interfaces of the T-Rexes have these IPs, and these are the default gateways. And the rest of this we can kind of ignore. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's do the same for our second YAML file. And just make the same changes. Now, one thing I want to bring up, um, for those of you who have maybe have met, never messed with YAML, um, don't use tab. Use spaces. YAML does not like tabs. Um, it will actually crap out if you try to run it and it can't interpret the YAML file. Um, YAML is no good with tabs. So just use the space bar. Um, go ahead and do ENS6 and 7, which is the port pair for branch 2. And again, we're going to add low end, and, excuse me, low end. And we're going to say true. Um, again, we can inspect our config here. We've got branch 2 side and branch uh, uh, DC side for branch 2 servers. Go ahead and save that YAML file. All right, so now we're ready to configure our emulated clients and servers, and we'll do that in just a minute. 